Hi guys! Good morning to everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your friend, Mar Hayan. And guess what? Today, guys, gonna do a rebanding. Hair rebanding, I should say. Yeah, and here's my client. Beautiful client. Yeah, Nikki. Yeah, so I'm gonna make this curly hair later go straight, right? So, stick around and uh, for all those guys who uh, haven't subscribed yet, Please do subscribe, okay? Alright, so uh, first thing I'm gonna do, guys, is uh, section uh, the client's hair like this. Some people out you guys, some of you guys out there might think, hey, Mar must be something. <laughs> you know how to do this girl stuff, but you know, I have to do different things to survive. <laughs> you know, as long as it, it is legal and you are not harming others. Wow. You get to know a lot of things so it's like uh, having a plan B you know if the plan A not worked doesn't work so you go with your plan B which is you know, stuff like this or maybe singing a band you know never know I'm gonna start at the back side of our client's hair. Start. Might uh, guys wonder where where I learned this kind of things, you know? Considering that I came from the army, uh. <laughs> you know. Like I said, you have to learn a lot to survive. Look at the late area. The client is taking a little portion of hair. Maybe just a paper tick again. Like this. Then guys, uh, remember, you have to apply the straightening cream a little bit faster, so the development time will be exact, will be followed, you know, sometimes if you delay, part of the hair, the head, straight and others are not because you're gonna rinse it all all at once so you have to do it faster like I said God, my nose is bleeding now. Hira magkaroon ng mga client na ano? Joiner, kailangan mag-flow ka sa mga anes. 
Yan mga subscriber miss ng joiner. Yan mas kapatok ko ako ng mga jinkies. Otherwise, they won't understand you. So. I'd like to run away from you But if I were to leave you, I would die A chamber I would like to to say a uh, shout out to all my subscribers out there both here in uh, the Philippines and in uh, abroad how are you guys I hope all of you guys out there are safe away from COVID Omicron virus you know thank you so much uh, if not because of you guys I wouldn't be here and uh, my uh, my channel keeps growing because of your support. <laughs> I am very sorry for my English. I'm not really not really good into public speaking. Just try my best <laughs> to the best of my ability. <laughs> All right.
after uh, apply the application of the straightening cream guys so we rinse the hair uh, oh no after applying the straightening uh, cream or the rebounding cream and uh, sitting it for at least 30 minutes depend depends on the type of hairs that you are working with so after 30 minutes or 30, 40 minutes you rinse the hair and make sure no, no residues left okay I'm gonna dry it by a glue dry you know or um, simply by electric fan or whatever means that you want to do okay so let's do it hi guys still there so we come now to the most important part of rebonding of uh, hair rebonding which is the you know the flat ironing of the hair yeah look so you must take a portion of a hair every time at least uh, we call it paper thin like that so you iron the hair slowly there we go you know having uh, some muscles on my arms really help you know to squeeze the iron really really good and more uh, more pressing of the iron makes the hair more straight you can see guys on the floor you can see any any hair falling you know that's what you call a good good rebounding because you know I know a lot of people are uh, complaining about their hair being burned, being uh, <laughs> lost because of the too much, too much uh, rebounding cream over over babat. <laughs> you know, sitting the sitting the rebounding cream to the hair for a very long time will really burn the hair and uh, make it brittle and eventually fold but as you can see guys nothing there alright so we take another portion of hair just like that Once again, I would like to say hi to all of you guys out there, especially all my subscribers who are helping me out to grow my channel. <laughs> How are you guys? I hope everyone is okay. If you guys will ask me, I'm good. Really good. <laughs> So, earlier today guys, earlier, earlier today guys, I had a basketball game at the Astro Park and uh, right after that, here I am, doing some business, <laughs> you know. thing that uh, most other guys doesn't know how to do right. there you go so the length of this hair as you can see guys so uh, will take me five to six hours of ironing so what time is it now it's 12 o'clock so probably will be finished at 6 p.m. tonight guys wow 
And so guys, welcome back. Ayan. So after almost 6 hours na rebonding process, ito na po yung ating uh, finished product. Ayan. Look at our model. Uh, si Nikki. <laughs> Tingnan mo naman. So, ganito ang nangyari guys. So, unang-unang ginawa natin guys, ah, uh, uh, inapplyan natin ng rebanding cream yung kanyang uh, hair uh, by the way, yung ginamit nating uh, rebanding uh, product ay uh, Aglo ayan. Ayan, ha? Aglo yung ginamit kong pro yung, ano, yung product na rebanding so inapplyan ko ng rebanding cream so ayan, inapplyan ko lahat sinection ko yung kanyang hair lahat ng portion ayan, so, so magkanang iwan tayo ng at least 1 inch bago doon sa scalp kung masyadong madikit para hindi masyadong mahapti no sa tagal ng process. So ayan, nang malagyan ko na lahat yung kanyang uh, hair ng uh, rebanding cream. So afternoon eh pinabayaan natin yung hair. Let's set the uh, the cream for at least 35 minutes depende pa rin doon sa tibay ng hair kung sa resistance ng hair. So kung medyo matapang yung hair, lumalaban, so siguro mga around mga 40 minutes pwede na yon. So kailangan palagi time to time, from time to time kailangan din check natin yung hair kung okay na siya kasi kung uh, nasobrahan din sa babad may uh, may pagkakataon na maputol yung hair maging uh, brittle yung hair so yun so okay na siya nung mga na pagkatapos ng uh, after 30 minutes binalawan natin guys so binalawan ng bongga bongga kailangan walang maiwan na residue ng rebanding cream sa kanyang hair otherwise pag linansya natin yun baka mag cause yun ng kanyang uh, damage sa hair okay so nung uh, Pagkatapos ng mabanlawan, pinatuyo natin through by using a blower o kasama na rin yung fan natin. So ayun, uh, tuyo-tuyo na siya and then uh, doon na nagumpisa yung ating uh, kalbaryo ng pag-uplansya. So plansya natin ng hair ni Nikki for almost uh, 3 hours mahigit. Ayan. So plansya natin siya ng bongga-bongga. Ayan, after 3 hours, eh, pinagpahinga natin yung kanyang hair. Medyo pina pinalamig natin ng konti and then after that uh, nilaplayan naman natin ng uh, pinatawag na neutralizer yan yung number 2 dun sa product ng rebanding cream so yun nilaplayan natin siya ng neutralizer guys at this time guys so by the way para doon sa iba na gusto mong maka makalam ng teknik na to nilagyan ko rin ng kulay yung uh, kanyang uh, neutralizer so bumili ako ng pangha inalawa ko ng pang kulay so instead na nilagyan ko ng uh, peroxide Hinala ko na lang siya doon sa neutralizer yung kulay na yun. So, end up, na ganito yung nangyayari. So, after yung pagka-apply, hinayaan din natin yung kanyang hair, yung cream doon sa hair, yung neutralizing cream sa hair ng at least 30 minutes din, ganun. So, ayun, pag after 30 minutes, balaman ulit natin, and then, uh, plancha na rin natin ng hair. Hindi na ganun kabongga kagaya ng kanina ng unang plancha natin. So, ito na nga guys, ito na yung kanyang uh, kung lumabas ng kanyang kagandahan. So, bonggang bongga. So, masasabi ko guys, uh, successful naman ang ating uh, process kasi kung makikita nyo guys, walang mga nalaglag ng mga hair sa baba. Yan ang pinaka-importante doon. Hindi lang basta ginawa mo yung hair niya, nereban mo siya, basta para kumita ka lang. At least, kailang sinigurado mo na yung client mo eh, hindi nag-suffer, hindi siya magsisisi sa pagpapariban sa iyo. Okay? So, by the way, hindi naman po ako professional talaga na nagtatrabaho sa salon. Ito ay part-time job lang. Pag gaganto mga kagipitan, eh, sumasideline tayo. Okay? So, you guys, para doon sa mga hindi pa rin nakapag-subscribe sa atin, please do subscribe po sa channel ni Mar o Piazza Vlog. Saya. Hindi lang po mga ganitong bagay ang uh, pinipicture natin sa channel. Marami pa dyan kung ano-ano pa na kung ano lang may upload natin. So, please guys, please do subscribe. And uh, thank you so much sa pagantabay sa aking vlog today. At uh, hanggang sa susunod. God bless po sa inyong lahat. Bye-bye!